most self-published authors do everything alone to produce a book from the time from the writing process to plotting to editing to finalizing everything to proofreading all the processes involved in the book writing process a self-published author does it alone in my case i did it alone from the book cover from the book cover i designed it from the yeah everything you see here i designed it all the content i edited it i wrote it from the bottom of my heart and actually this is a um uh, this is actually one of my unfinished works when i started writing fiction in 2014 but this one i wrote this in 2018 and the original title was unknowingly popular confidant and um by the time that i decided to get serious my with my self-publishing journey i decided to revisit all my unpublished unfinished and unpublished works in my dusty bookshelves metaphorically speaking and I decided to rewrite it to according to my taste now well I wrote it 2018 so that's what that's when I was still like in my early 20s and whatever I thought back then I kept it as much as, as possible I kept the essence although I'm writing it years later so one thing I learned about producing a book as a self-published author is it's really not easy. <laughs> it's really not easy to produce a fucking book. But why do I do this? Why do I spend six months producing a book or doing something that I will never know if I will have book sales or not? I will never know if this will be a big hit or not. I don't know if this will be um enough or i mean like the book says it will be enough to to pay off all my responsibilities and obligations per month you know my monthly bills and all that but the point of doing this the point of all the grit and all the sacrifices i made for this book is because i want to this is part of my recovery process for my mental health because back then, before I became an author, before I became, you know, like serious about my fiction world, I was a very depressed woman. I'm a very broken, suicidal bitch. And I don't want to... I re It's not really like I make it as an identity, but it's part of my biggest lesson as a person, as, an, as a spiritual being, as a being with conscience and soul. I want to save myself and one big thing I've tried everything meditation um, I've never been to a, you know like a psychotherapy or something because we really don't have the money we really don't have the money to produce that you know I, my they really I really can't just send myself there because we really don't have the money and finances or the resources to go there so I have to save myself <laughs> you know I have to save myself so the best approach that I did after all the, the, the stuff, after all, after everything that I've done to save myself. This is one of the best approaches that I've done so far. Along with journaling, I have my notebooks here. Like I, I have my journal here. This is really a big book. So I have all my notes here and all that. This is actually containing this book actually contains um, notes for the next works spoiler alert and i also have a lot of notebooks in my mini shelf mini library in my desk i have all my journals and yeah this activity these things help me survive my myself my dying self, my creative self, my artist inside me. And yeah, 